Have you ever wondered why the Chinese military is called the People's Liberation Army? Well, the clue's in the name, which it received during the War of Liberation, China's civil war from 1946 to 49. Hi, I'm Greg Fountain, and today we're going to be finding out a little more about the PLA. 90 years ago, this city bore witness to a momentous event. Life wasn't easy here then. Many people were poor and struggled to make ends meet. There was much grief and misery. That's why on August 1st, 1927, a young Communist Party of China led a military uprising here in Nanchong. And the Chinese Workers' and Peasants' Revolutionary Army, later to be known as the Red Army, was born. This army soon swelled in size, as people from across the country flocked to join its ranks. It played an important role in the nation's victory over Japanese invaders, who occupied northeast China for about 14 years from 1931. This is Yangzhuan, where the army built a network of these hot, cramped tunnels so that they could launch surprise attacks against the Japanese. In 1947, the Red Army was renamed the People's Liberation Army. Two years later, the People's Republic of China was founded and the PLA set up its own Navy and Air Force. Over the decades that followed, the PLA has looked to modernise further and strengthen its capabilities as a fighting force, meaning that today it can boast a range of domestically developed tanks, aircraft and ships, replacing the need for imported armaments. In addition to the role it plays in domestic affairs, the PLA is also involved in international peacekeeping, maritime escort and humanitarian and relief operations. Since Xi Jinping was elected chairman of the CPC Central Military Commission, head of China's military in 2012, the PLA has embraced a new chapter in its history. Its headquarters, regional command structure and individual branches have been overhauled to create a more modern, streamlined force. Xi has repeatedly called on the PLA to strengthen its joint operational capabilities and combat readiness. The PLA is moving forward toward its goal of becoming a world-class military, but it still stays true to its founding principles, established 90 years ago. Serve the people, defend the nation, and safeguard the peace. Good luck, China!